Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> All right, this is a first time, and I love first times, especially when they come with such high recommendations from you guys. She has a diva title to this. So the, this is one of uh, she is one of Eva or or Eva. I think it's Eva. I think Elhenio. it's Eva. Eva uh, it's, it's one of them like pinnacle, legendary sort of. Uh, Artist Voices. from the Philippines, and this is her biggest hit, Tukso. Let's give it a watch. We've been trying to go back into the time machine <laughs> yeah. and find out new voices that perhaps have, you know, marked the industry. And we will put a lot of this. There's some other names that I don't want to mention, but we'll put all of this in a podcast. Um, I think probably next week or the week after. But let's give it a watch. Okay. This is Tukso Life. Oh, we love vintage. Yes, girl. Oh, love me a good close-up of a dress. Why don't we do that now anymore? I don't know. Why don't we close up on dresses anymore? What? Do it more often. Remember so much back home. Yeah, they do. I wonder what year this was in. Talk about that technique. It reminds you a lot of back home. These are the type of performances and the sound, the vintage mm -hmm. sound that you'd hear. And because Tagalog does have so many sort of phonetic uh, similarities. Familiarities. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. not similarities, but familiarities to mm -hmm. Spanish. It does sound like all of a sudden I was sort of transcended into, you know, 2004 and my grandma is watching a video from the 80s yeah. in TV in this like vintage special show and I'm just out there eating cereal. Or something. <laughs> But go on. <laughs> it is. It just reminds me of Saturday morning cleaning. Yeah. Doesn't it? Like <laughs> my That's grandma would Sunday play music like this. Yeah. yeah. It's it's really cool though. Her her projection technique is insane. And I think obviously you can tell you can tell that there is a lot of uh, of redirection of effort. Even though even though you can't really see much of the movement in the abdominal wall because of the, the way the dress has been corseted, you can't really see much of what's happening like in the torso itself. Uh, but you can see a lot from the posture and how far forward she is. And I think that has to do a lot with the shoes too. But so the tension, there's tension building towards the abdominal front of a wall of the uh, of of your tummy yeah. because she's leaning forward. It's trying to find balance there. But there's also a little bit of like a, a relaxation on the knees. So your fr so the 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 stress, so the the tension is being. Uh, diffused in that little uh, Bend bending of the, of the of the leg, so that gives me the the illusion that perhaps the abdominal wall isn't as tight right. as as it would naturally be. So that gives you the advantage of having incredible uh, breath control that allows you to connect down to your chest and create this magnificent projection <laughs> techniques yeah it, it creates this really huge sounding uh, effect and you can see it here really clearly here at the end Wait. look at that and it's that reach back i love that we can see her speaking voice she said that it's been 20 years since the release. Maybe. <laughs> so charismatic. Imagine. Imagine. After elementary high school. Okay. Binilit mo yung pag-aralin sa Brent. Hindi mayabang ang nanay. Matatapos na ho siya ngayon college sa Lasal. US, ah, US. Mass media. Maybe she's saying that. She's the, is that maybe speaking the story. Of her, her career so far. Yeah. 
Evangeline Nora May. I think, I think, of course, because obviously there's people, you know, that are watching that probably don't speak that look like us. Um, I think, and I'm sure the comments will correct me if I'm incorrect, but I think <laughs> what you're saying is she probably became famous. Uh, I was, she produced this song really early, early. on, uh, like during, before college, like in high school, or secondary school, if you're in the UK. Um, and then she sort of had to face the media and the mass the masses and stuff like that. Yeah. I think that's basically what she's talking about. I I'm not so sure. Too. And I think this person who's here maybe had a huge impact in her career. I have no fucking idea. Let me know in the comments, but go on. Or maybe she was talking about this person that's about to come in. True, true, true. And their, their beginnings. Right, maybe the song was written based on them. Who oh. knows, who knows? This is interesting. That's a great example of um, uh, use, like the differences between someone who is a stable singer and mm -hmm. someone who may not do that for a living. They just sort of sing maybe. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure she doesn't, she's not actually a singer. She's maybe like a personality or she's certainly a fucking good looking woman and tall. <laughs> and maybe she's like a pageant person or something like that. Yeah. Um, but, a pageant person. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but that, that's a great example here on the something that Baleska always talks about it's stillness while talking while while singing and if you look at Eva there is very little adjustments of things mm -hmm. uh she's already become adjusted and uh, she's already anchored mm -hmm. and then if you look at the hips feet and mannerisms of the other girl uh, she is trying to figure shit out yes uh, trying to find comfort uh, especially to do that on stage and maybe if you don't sing for a living or if this isn't your thing very difficult to do i absolutely commend her for even taking the, the invite to it because i'm sure that in the arrangement they were like yeah you can come you know sing a bit of this song <laughs> you're like what the fuck no. maybe she's also a great singer maybe this was just she was just a bit nervous or whatever but it is interesting to look at different um elements of singers or especially a really well established um, a professional performer and someone who may not do that for a living. Yeah, and I think you can really tell so from uh, from very little mannerisms, like some, for example, uh, sinking into one hip yeah. just to find comfort, and that that yeah, that's a that's a really good tell of somebody who's uncomfortable and trying to find comfort. Uh, but it's also really detrimental for for singing posture. From technique speaking, you're you're uh, you're tilting your hips into one way more than the other so that that doesn't allow for the the breath flow to continuously flow yeah not to be redundant but um so it's it if if you're trying to find comfort and in, in a position like this where this is not your show this might not even be your a favorable key for you to sing in my best advice what i always try to do when i'm on stage and these things happen uh is try to maintain a level levels yeah try to feel the ground try to maintain yourself as as open in the breath flow and in your posture as possible because if you got those things down the possibility of going even more wrong are, are beginning to reduce so you're kind of like uh reducing risks yeah as as you're leaning towards a, a technique uh it's the same i think that the approach of that that's that's like uh, that reminds me a lot of how you approach uh, competitive competition in tennis or competitive uh, yeah. tennis. You, what you actually want to try and do, in, especially in those first few games, is minimize errors. That's right. Not yes. not play the best you could fucking play uh, ever play. Some days you're just gonna be on, and that's gonna happen. But most times you just want to minimize errors. It, so it, the playability aspect. That's right. And I remember I remember one of my coaches always used to say, use the technique as a safety blanket. Right. So, like, if you're gonna hyperfixate in in something, let it be the the technique, because right. that that's what's gonna allow things to run smoother. Well, let's see where this goes. Maybe she turns out to be fucking unbelievable. Uh, she's actually really great. Yeah, she's not bad. Yeah, I mean, the environment really is really great. Yeah. We're just being nitty gritty, but it's, I think so. It was a good point of reference and examples. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you very much, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Evangeline Nora. May you help me, Sebastian. Thank you. Evangeline. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe that's her, her daughter. Bye bye, you know energy. Come on. Everybody sings. But she's really forward. You see, she's really forward in her technique. Oh. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, nice, comfortable seats. Oh, yeah, he does mean too. 
Wow, but she's insane. Oh, Jesus. She's incredible. Gosh, darn it. She was walking, building that. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> what a great performer. She is eating it up. Okay, note to self, never get VIP tickets right in the front. <laughs> yeah, unless you want to sing. Even no though, though, if I was going to do that in any Definitely country, I'd do it in the, in the Philippines. Philippines. You know, it's just be unlucky that you chose the one and out of the 2,000 people, that like, he couldn't sing. But all the other people, I'm sure they could. No, the thing is, though, the thing is... She chose two out of the 2,000 that couldn't sing. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> the minority, what are the chances of yeah, that? Because that in most if that was like the US or if that was like the UK or South America, the chances you're gonna get someone that sings is actually very small. Now the chances that you're gonna get someone that thinks they can sing is uh, very, yes, high. very high. Everyone's yes. very confident. Yes, overly very. confident. Maybe not here in the UK or the US. South America though, yeah, they but probably they're fucked up as well. No, um, I think South America's drunk all the time. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> You're going to get someone that tries. Will they be good? Probably not. In the Philippines, though, you will get someone that will try. You'll get someone that's a bit like, oh, I don't want to steal that. Oh, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yes, in the Philippines, you do have to try that. I will keep it in mind. I'll just on my notes. Go on. <laughs> but look at the way she walks. Her, her shoulders Posture. are pretty... Yeah, pretty uptight. Oh, yeah. And I think it has to do with the shoes. Oh, gosh, Corp! Why is she so relaxed? Proper entertainer. control the freaking performance itself the song the song is actually quite repetitive but that actually only amps up to the difficulty of singing and hitting every note every single maybe time that's, maybe that's also what became a hit because the lyrics sort of just repeat themselves and yes and everybody could just the, catch on yeah. right well, even us first time listening yeah to but to but that just only amplifies the difficulty of the track itself because and obviously then you go ahead and you know change the key because why wouldn't you yes. right and then it, it just it just amplifies that whole idea of there's some people that are very naturally very grounded and this type of environments 
only amplify mm. that grounding that they naturally possess. And you could hear that confidence and that grounding and that resonance not in her speaking voice. So she, she, she would be one of those really loud people in a, in, in a really normal <laughs> setting yes. because it, she, she has found that really easy connection between the chest and, and the, the speaking voice. So the translation from speaking into singing with that same mannerism it's freaking magic, but it, there's a there's a certain specific people that can do that mm. uh, because if if that is untrained, it actually can become very damaging for for um, the the singer itself. Develops nodules and then there's there's a loose the you you become really uh, cacophonic. Uh, right. uh, and there's like a lot of damage because you're always creating too much force in the airflow. People that tend to shout speak. They, they're just creating a lot of friction all the time. I see. Um, but in, in her particular case, it's so freaking refined. Yep. Uh, it's such an easy translation as, as well. It's very impressive. Um, as always, very interesting to check out new performers. So let us know perhaps what other singers we should check out next. And do tune into that podcast where we'll check out the best or more, what would you call it, legendary female vocalist from the Philippines. The-